So, Sunilvanagaram, good evening to everyone. Huh? Today, I will discuss about the pelvic, what I wrote? Pelvic tumor. So, um, what is pelvis? It is the lower part of the membrane cavity. And uh, what is the boundaries of the pelvis? Anatomical and uh, as a whole? The pelvis, there is a pelvis. We have a pelvis composed of two bones. Two hip bones and sacrum. And you know the outline and the pelvic cavity boundary. What is the boundary? Symphysis pubis, pubic symphysis, then arcuate line, then iliocecal joint, and then behind sacrum. So there is a, we have a pelvic bone. And the, the cavity, what is cavity? The space within the pelvis that is known as pelvic cavity. So, in the pelvic cavity, what are the structures, uh, pelvic organs? What are the pelvic organs? Urinary bladder, uh, you, you can say yes, from front to behind, urinary bladder, then uterus and other adnexal structure like Philippian tube, hydrosol wings, sorry, my Philippian tube and uh, other structure ovary and others behind broad ligament and uh, and then behind behind uh, sigmoid colon and rectum so three compartment in the pelvic and anterior bladder urethra and other um, behind, middle uterus cervix and other adnexal structures and behind is sigmoid colon and rectum so, pelvic tumor means the, uh, the tumor originating from these structures. Okay? So, uh, common, what are the common tumor of the pelvis in gynecology? Gynecology's common tumor is? So, ovarian tumor is the most common tumor, ovarian tumor. Okay? So, uh, we, I will discuss today is the ovarian tumor. Ovary, who will start? Ovary, what is shape of the ovary? Shape, size and size, shape and size, almond shape. And size, how many centimeters? 3.4 to uh, 4 centimeter normally. And um, so, uh, hot appearance. Uh, yesterday you saw the color of the ovary. Who saw? Ovary uh, during his trip to me or who saw you saw? What is the you say? What is the color? Whitish like very good. She saw the color and she took the picture, I think so. So you can circulate everyone, eh? The structure of the ovary. She saw now in the body, eh? living body. So uh, in the living body and dead body, the color is the same or different? Different. Why? There is degeneration and necrosed. Huh? So, um, uh, now we, I will discuss today is the uh, tumor of the ovary that is most common. Huh? Yesterday I did one operation, now the day before yesterday. That is, I did a to me who saw the case. Already a video done. Who raised your hand? Who saw the. Uh, only why you only? Yes? Yeah, you stand up. You saw the operation, na? No, no, one, one. Okay, but only one. You stand up, only one. What is the stack? Uh, what you saw? The size of the laboratory? Yes. The tumor we, uh, was brought in the field. What is the size and shape? About 11 to 12 centimeter. And Smooth surface yeah, fluid. seems to contain fluid. Very good. He saw the tumor. Huh? So uh, now uh, we discuss the tumor. Huh? Another term is so tumor is always physiological, not pathological. Pathological. But there is a term ovarian cyst or cystic ovary. Cystic, if it is termed the cystic ovary, 
cystic ovary limited to physiological condition physiological is it possible physiological condition to uh, cause the cystic ovary yes, yes from its structure huh? what is the structure from its structure it is possible and ovary is the hormone producing organ what is the other function ovary germ cell okay so uh, if we think the structure of the ovary at first uh, just uh, grossly uh, surface epithelial epithelial surface huh? okay epithelial surface the cortex and medulla right in the cortex the surface epithelium then uh, then what sex cord structure can you remember sex cord At first, we divide surface epithelium, then cortex and medulla. Do you remember the anatomy? And in the cortex, there is uh, growing different stages of growing follicle. Okay? And sex cord contains, sex cord contains this uh, what? What is the structure of the sex cord? Hmm? Sex cord germinal. Diamond epithelium, you know the graphene follicle. Graphene follicle. Corpus luteum. These are the sex cord structure. Eh? Corpus luteum. Do you remember this structure? <clears throat> so, um, follicular cyst. Follicular cyst from where? from the graphene follicle. If the follicle cyst persists long time, it is uh, cystic ovary. And corpus luteum also can form the cyst. So these are the normal uh, physiological, these are the, these are physiological cyst. Why physiological cyst? As it is directly related with the hormonal function which is uh, needed for the all over our menstrual cycle uh, or what is reproductive cycle. Okay, so uh, now I am come back again in the ovarian tumor. So ovarian cyst is pathological. Ovarian cyst is pathological. So, this is two part benign, benign and malignant. Now, I will discuss about the swelling of the enlargement of the ovary at first. Ovarian enlargement. Kiki karne boro hai the bari akta ovary. Congenerity, some uh, there is maybe a problem in the ovary. Large congenitally there may be ovarian enlargement or there is, uh, you know, the, what are the um, other causes? I told the last, in the first class there is pathological change in the ovary, there is five causes. What are the, what are the causes, uh, which factor, which causes the pathological change? Number one, infection. Number two, endocrine disorder, number three, trauma, number four, neoplasia, number five is miscellaneous. These are the basic cause of the pathology. So the, what are the basic, basic causes? What are the basic causes? You understand? So all these changes also can happen in the ovary. Basic cause being infection, basic cause being endocrine disorder, basic cause being trauma and neoplasia and miscellaneous. So all these uh, uh, factors can affect the ovary and which tends to cause enlargement of the ovary. Okay, so for, uh, if there is infection in the ovary, what is the term? 
ऊपराइटिस रिटेंशन सिस्ट रिटेंशन सिस्ट एंडोमेट्रोसिस एंडोमेट्रोसिस एंड देन न्यूप्लेशिया है न्यूप्लेशिया एंड आधा टाइम्स उधर ही ओवरियन प्रेगनेंसी ओवरियन प्रेगनेंसी लाइक दिस ओके सो ऑल दिस मे कॉस ओवरियन एनलर्जमेंट सो ओवरियन एनलर्जमेंट इफ देर इज ओवरियन एनलर्जमेंट दैट नॉट मीन्स देर इज न्यूप्लेशिया सो इट मे बी फिजोलॉजिकल मे बी पेथोलॉजिकल पेथोलॉजिकल आर रिलेटेड टू दिस फैक्टर्स आई टोल्ड यू एंड न्यू प्लेशियर सो टूडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ओबरियन न्यू प्लेशियर सो बिनाइन ओबरियन ट्यूमर बिनाइन ओबरियन ट्यूमर सेरस म्यूसिनस टू हर से देर इज का यू नो फ्रॉम द पेथोलॉजी सेरस फ्लूड हॉट इज सेरस फ्लूड हॉट इज म्यूसिनस फ्लूड आई थिंक यू नो ना Serous means clear, thin, not sticky like this. Uh, it is not clear. Uh, just color change to or some mucinous like and thicky like this. Huh? And usually serous uh, smooth surface, uh, not separate mode. It is more separate and so many difference between the serous tumor and the mucinous. And these are also divided in. There is two parts, three parts, huh? Bordering and malig, uh, malignant. Then there is. It can turn into malignant or borderline malignant. Benign. So uh, the day before yesterday, what you saw the tumor? We should wait for the histopathology report. Without histopathology, we cannot say. So it may be a benign, it may be malignant, or it may be borderline malignant. So all have some criteria. So you write the difference between malignant ovarian tumor. You write uh, the uh, difference between uh, benign ovarian tumor and malignant ovarian tumor. So later we will discuss the benign ovarian tumor and malignant ovarian tumor. Now the um, case at first I saw someone the. Um, Patient was in dorsal position, and I allowed to palpate the lower abdominal swelling. There is a lower abdominal swelling. Who is who palpate? Someone palpate. Yes, you stand up and say, "What you palpate?" Freely mobile. There is a large cystic mass. Large cystic mass freely mobile, and lower limit is palpable. So you can say again, there is a large cystic mass, freely mobile, round shape, almost round shape, and lower limit is palpable. Okay, someone palpate. Okay, thank you. So um, now we can discuss. Just we discuss some points about the ovarian tumor when it is malignant, uh, benign. Okay, so benign ovarian tumor um, now. If we discuss so many discussion, now a clinical discussion is patient how the patient come to us, what are the what um, complain, what are our findings, what investigation we do, and what should, treatment should be done. Okay, now patient came uh, how old she was? How old? About thirty five or thirty five years. Multi para patient. She has complain of lower abdominal pain for last uh, one year. Menstrual cycle was normal. There is no problem in the menstrual cycle. There is a difference between uterine tumor and menstrual uh, and ovarian tumor. The menstrual cycle is mostly regular in ovarian tumor, and uh, menstrual cycle abnormal in uterine tumor. Okay. So uh, and she had uh, then what we find uh, after opening there is. You say me what is what we found after opening yeah open up the abdominal cavity torsion ah there is a torsion of the ovary in the pe pedicle 
ovaries hanged in the pedicle, horse pedicle, ovarian ligament, mandible leg ligament. That is a, behind the broad ligament, ovary is placed with the, uh, hanging with the with the help of ligament. So torsion within the ligament. Okay, you saw that one. There is a torsion of the ovary, and which causes pain. If there is a torsion in the ovarian ligament and major sulfings like this, then uh, obviously there is pain. Pain due to stretching, nerve, nerve stretching and congestion and uh, the surrounding structure. So there is a pain. For this pain she came. She came for this pain. So painful ovarian tumor. It was a painful ovarian tumor. Okay, so what are the other problem, uh, complication? Uh, this tumor may rupture, of course maybe, this tumor may be rupture also. And uh, another is hemorrhagic cyst. We, uh, within the ovary, there is vessels, you know, the, in the middle there is vessel, ovary and vessel goes to the inside. And uh, corpus luteum also vascular structure. So if there is enlargement of the ovary, there may be some rupture of the small vessel, which causes hemorrhagic cyst, which causes hemorrhagic cyst. So, you know the three uh, complications. One, she told, to, uh, torsion, never forget this, uh, torsion of the ovary, that is acute condition, acute gynecological condition is torsion, which causes pain and patient comes to us immediately to us and we need immediate operation. If, if we do not operation, what is the problem? Torsion cause necrosis and then acute abdomen peritonitis, big problem. Okay, so torsion and then what I say, rupture and hemorrhagic cyst, intercapsular rupture, huh? capsular bithore, or even it can rupture outside, extra capsular rupture, and which causes hemoperitoneum. Okay, now uh, I will discuss the, um, that is, other complication. It may be infected, there may be infection also, and uh, degenerative change also in the, within the structure, some degenerative change, fatty degeneration or others. And uh, mostly infection, infection is one of the complication. And it can transform into the malignant chains. Very uncommon. Transform from malignant chains. Okay. Now uh, I will discuss the clinical picture. Hmm. Clinical, how the patient came to us and what is your findings and how can we diagnose.